Hey everyone, here we are, vlog 123, that's one, two, three. <laughs> My name is Jaime, the shut-in cartoonist, musician, vlogcasting here from the Corn Tortilla Press World Headquarters, which is located on that island called Alameda, which floats in the San Francisco Bay, just off the coast of Oakland. Yes, that place. And this is the room, this is the room that is there in the building of where I live. Um, on my umpteenth glass of water, my apologies for the late posting. Literally, yesterday I did my typical weekday morning on a weekend, which is I got up early and just decided to go ahead and do this anyway. My first cup of coffee, too, and knocked it out by 8 in the morning. I think I posted it. Today, I'm not going to lie to you. Like 20 minutes ago, I was downstairs. I had a couple of cherries. I was eating cherries, spit in the pits, and in my hand, throw them in the garbage can. I kind of looked at the clock and went, oh, okay, let's see what else should I go do right now? And I went, oh, the vlog, I forgot. So here we are. And today, let me put my glass of water down. Today, we're gonna talk about a movie. I'm very attached to this film. I mean, I think it's a great film. It is a very good film, but I also have some, some sentimentality attached to it. And the sentimentality is a childhood pal of mine. Uh, I'll go ahead and out him right now, Bob Donenworth. Um, him and his little brother, Mike, uh, grew up two streets over from me. We were very tight as kids through grammar school and junior high. And the reason why we weren't as tight afterwards because Bob and his family ended up moving to the California foothills uh, after junior high school. So, um, and this is in Sacramento, California. And we lived in East Sac. We lived right near Midtown. We were, you know, the Sacramento, that's the, the Sacramento. It's not Rockland. It's not... Orangevale or Roseville, all these other places outside of it, it was it was in town, and uh, there back then um, it was the mid 1970s, and we had TV stations. We had let's see three. Uh, <laughs> I, I haven't lived there a long time. We had three channel ten, channel okay channel three, channel ten, channel thirteen, and then we had one public channel, public TV channel six. And one UHF, I remember that one came on, Channel 40, UHF. That was it. These are the old days, you know. Like my family, we still have black and white TV too. And for a while, we didn't even have UHF on there. So I only had four channels, technically three, growing up as a kid for a long time. But anyway, I digress. Mid-1970s, this new station, new UHF station came on, Channel 31. Don't know if they're still there, but it was the mid-70s, and it was summertime, I believe, and Bob and I are hanging out a lot, just doing, you know, goofy kid stuff, baseball, whatever. And I remember uh, we watched this movie called Duel. That's right, right here. Can you see that? Starring Dennis Weaver. Yeah, this movie was effing awesome, man. It was uh, directed by um, Steven Spielberg. I'm not sure if it was his first major release, but it was pretty darn close to it. This came out in 1971, so it was probably 74 or 5 by the time we saw it. And since this channel was on, it was new, they would play this movie, plus a few others, several times a day for like a week because they didn't have enough programming. And so Bob and I, I think in a two-day span, watched this, I believe, three times. Now, I'm going to uh, get a hold of Bob. I'm going to actually put him underneath here, his, his tag, whatever you call it, you know, to say, hey, I posted something with you in it. And he, I'm going to see if he'll sound off on his end of the story of this. But Duel, holy crap, it's a great... Great suspenseful film. Um, I'm actually going to do something I rarely do. I'm going to read off of uh, Google. Because usually I know all this stuff already because I'm so geeky into these things. But um, let me read you the, the Google blurb on this. Here it is. Okay, and it's uh, David Mann, played by Dennis Weaver. A mild-mannered electronic salesman is driving cross-country on a two-lane highway when he encounters an old oil tanker driven by an unseen driver who seems to enjoy annoying him with the dangerous antics on the road. Unable to escape the demonic big rig, David finds himself in a dangerous game of cat and mouse with a monstrous truck. When the pursuit escalates to deadly levels, David must summon his inner warrior and turn the tables on his tormentor. Yes, it was November 1971 that film came out. It is really good. I highly recommend it. So come on, man. It, I'm, I've seen it, I believe, um, on some of the streaming platforms like Amazon, Prime, um, whatever other ones are that you might be involved in. I don't know if it's on Hulu or Netflix or two pretty common ones, and they're actually kind of limited. So, But I've seen it around. But Duel, check it out. It is really awesome. 
And I don't remember him driving cross country. I remember it more like, I think he started out in a burb of LA, maybe even the, the Inland Empire. And he was heading out like towards the desert, not like up towards Bakersfield, but I think more down towards like Needles or somewhere out past like Riverside County kind of thing. And it just takes place out there. It, it's really, really entertaining. It'll keep you on the edge of your seat. It's a really good film. And as kids, you know, I loved it. And I saw this, this DVD about five years ago or so on the internet for sale for $5.99. So I was thinking, shit, $6, man, I'm jumping on it. And I did, and I rewatched it. Actually, when I was home recovering uh, from my uh, the big C, and I was, you know, laid up at home for about eight months. So I remember putting this on and just gleefully excited that it held up. It was still an entertaining film. So Duel, Steven Spielberg, Dennis Weaver. Yeah, it's a really cool film. Check it out. All right, that's about six minutes of your life. You will never get back. Um, don't forget to subscribe down below. Uh, if you have to go out, face mask up. Don't forget to wash and sanitize those hands often. Stay away from people. And uh, I also put my website down below. And make sure that you are kind to one another and kind to yourself. Kindness really works. It'll get us through all this. All right, everybody. Thanks once again for joining me. I'll see you next time. Thanks.